my father-in-law bought this ranch in 1924 and it was a dairy farm and he of course wanted grapes he had grapes in the old country uh, in Sicily and he came over to the United States when he was 17 he arrived at Ellis Island and then he wanted to come to California because he heard that's where the wine business is. I think he had about $50 when he came to Ellis Island, so which is a lot of money at that time. And so he worked on the railroad, and then he came and worked on Hetch, Hetchy Dam here in, in our area. And he worked in the vineyard in Lodi, and he while he was working in the vineyard in Lodi, he met his future wife. It was prohibition and they had an opportunity to sell grapes to the Chicago area in the vicinity via the railroad. So that was legal, no problem. Oh yes, they could make 200 gallons uh, a year for the man who was the head of the family. No women could do it. But as soon as prohibition ended, the market fell out and nobody wanted to buy grapes to make their own wine anymore. So that market dried up. But people uh, still wanted to make their own, it, just in our local area here, they wanted to make their own wine. So uh, my father-in-law would sell them 50 gallons of juice. Why not? And uh, so it started slowly and before you knew it, we were out we were selling a lot of juice. We do it because my father-in-law did it, and my father-in-law did it to take care of wine lovers, and, and so we carry on the tradition. I think it's because it allows people just to be who they are, just to relax and and share stories and a glass of wine is wonderful.